Welcome to the fourth day of trapping, everybody. It is about eight o'clock this morning. We've been out for a few hours already. Um, checking early this morning because we got some stuff going on today. So I already got a few coon, not too, not too much this morning. Only about eight or nine, I think. But um, yeah, we're at eight. Is it? Okay. But it's going all right. Um, you want to tell about what we had happen this morning? <coughs> to a site where there was a skunk from yesterday that we euthanized, and then today there was another skunk. Yeah. Mark had to euthanize that one. <laughs> oh man, that one was hard though. He, yeah. He, uh, he just, he was, he was, he was very smart. He, he would back up, and so you couldn't poke him, and then he would rush forward, so you still couldn't poke him. I don't, he was, he was a very smart one. I finally was able to get, poke him, and get the, get the acetone in him and back off, but that was... He was worrying me there for a little while. Yeah, pretty but, interesting. So we really want to get some video now that it's light out. Uh, we'll get we'll get you on the uh, on the line here in a bit. Hello, everybody. So now we are looking out, kind of giving you an idea of how we check a site. We try to make checking as easy as possible, so we can drive up to a site like this one and get out the window here. So it gets better. easier it is to check the better, you know, being able to check right out of your van like, or your truck like we're doing here is awful nice. Really, really simplifies the line and makes it a lot quicker. You can go through a lot, a lot of sites a lot faster. Here we go. Nothing. Keep driving. How easy it is. I'm going to take guys up in the haymow. I got a couple traps up in the haymow. In here. And I think we might have one. Sounded like something. Maybe not. There's, there's a cable up there. It's a little harder with a camera in your hand. <clears throat> nope. And there's the bucket trap back there, but since we're snapping today, I've got to go up and snap the traps. First day we had something up here. All right. First day we had something up here, but we uh, we had the cable we were tied off over there. By the edge, and uh, something went down the edge and wrapped up, and then pulled out. So here's the bucket trap. A little bait in the back. It's another thing that we do is uh, we just use a little tuna can with a piece of like uh, hardware cloth over the top of it, and hang on a minute. I'm trying to set this trap off. But anyway, as I was saying, all we do is a tuna can with a piece of hardware cloth uh, over the top, and that keeps the mice off your bait. We tried a bunch of different ways, and that's about what we found is the best to keep mice off your bait. Oh, yeah. We've never actually caught a coon in a hayloft, but. About the closest we've ever gotten was just first day when we had that trap on the uh, edge where it wasn't uh, where it had pulled out. So that's about how we uh, how we check a site. It's real quick. In and out, in a couple minutes. Okay, here we are now. Actually, the next site. Um, this is a really really good example of how we can go through a site quick. We got traps along the edge of the uh, cornfield here with by some trails. Just go along and see a trap and keep moving. It's up ahead. It's up there, I think. Hope we 
can find our trap. I don't know, it's off the barn. Man. Oh, yeah. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's tipped over. That's why. Yeah, there, the DP is tipped over. But we're tripping them today, so. The other thing we're doing today is we're pulling the 160s because you don't really want to leave those things out. Oh. Sorry about the camera, but it's hard to watch the camera and do the trapping, so. Hey, Dad's leaving me. Oh well. And we have a 160 up ahead here. Oh, right there, I just passed it. Right there, in that trail. I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to hold a bunch of stuff, but it's not working out real well. Not the best quality video, but we want to at least get something. The one thing I do want to say is there's a lot of different anchors or uh, stands for the uh, for the 160 Conibears. And uh, these have seemed to work the best, these ones we made. This is like a peg, just a straight, uh, straight peg. The, one of these, I think they're called killer clips on top. And, then, and this one is just uh, one we made by another style. And this, these ones seem to work out real well. There. So, Alright, um, that's it for the site. We'll be back in the next one. So, this is the uh, farm where I got sprayed by the skunk yesterday. Um, today we have to actually deal with the skunk now that's hopefully dead. After all that I took from him, I sure hope that he is dead. So. Oh! Oh, that was dad. Is he dead? They seem they don't seem to die very easily. Stone dead. Yep, his head's not moving, Dad. He's dead. Oh. Good deal. Oh yeah, and that's a there's a little tip. Wear rubber gloves when dealing with socks. And then throw the rubber gloves away. Okay. Alright. Stinky? Brings back memories of yesterday. <laughs> yesterday in the truck with the stinky me. Oh boy. Memories. I don't know. Trouble seeing so far away. <laughs> Alrighty. Catch you at the next site. Nothing. <laughs> A little rocky. Yeah, this is what happens when you're cheap salt. Cheap Swiss. You pull out disposable anchors. Yep. Why not? They come out easy enough. Rarely do we have to cut them. 160 back there.
like that, we're pulled out of a sight. Real quick. Sorry we didn't get any more video, but we, uh, we realized that we really had to get going because of our time. So we, uh, we were just flying and uh, we didn't have time to take any video, but... Um, I'm flying a little bit. That's me. <laughs> so oh, you are. <laughs> but, um, yep, so we got only about 11 coons today. We let two of them go. Uh, two more skunks today then. So we got a total of two skunks today. Yep. Which makes six for the year in three days. Not fun. You're doing great on skunks. Yeah, if only they were, well, I'm yeah. sure there were some, but we don't want to deal with them. But, uh, yeah, so going well. And tripped all the traps, so we won't be doing any videos for a little while. But uh, when we reset and go again, then we'll uh, get some more videos on. So until then. Hopefully, see you have a good time on the line. Yeah, see you guys.